We know the fight with masks in schools is still going back and forth with government, school districts and parents, but inside of the schools, things are set to return to looking much like how they did last year with masks on. Duval County Public Schools mask mandate goes into effect when students return to class tomorrow. Our Renata DiCocorio breaks down everything you need to know about that mandate. For 90 days starting Tuesday, students must wear a mask before getting on the school bus or going inside a school. They can be suspended for not following the rules after the third and fourth times. Inside Duval County Public Schools, things will look even more like 2020. Masks on everyone, except for while eating and during outdoor activities. Masks will also be required at indoor performing arts events and indoor sporting events. To opt out of the mask wearing, families must have a health care provider sign the school district's opt out form. Governor Ron DeSantis is appealing a ruling by a Leon County judge that decided school boards have the power to impose student mask mandates. The Florida Department of Education announced last week they've withheld the monthly school board member salaries in Alachua and Broward counties, claiming their mandatory mask policies violate parents' rights. The board states they will withhold the salaries each month until the school board does what the governor wants. The Duval County Public School Board states their mask policy does not break any rules because there is a medical opt out. Families were given ample time to get that form filled out and the mask policy is only for 90 days. 18 parents are suing to stop the mask mandate here in Duval County. We'll talk about that coming up in the next half hour. Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News on your side.